With the onset of the new coronavirus cases, scientists and researchers are doing all that they can to prevent it and quite possibly come up with a cure. While quite non-conventional, many have turned to technology like AI and machine learning and their efforts have not been in vain. But before we get into how this has been done, it's important to understand the situation at hand. An outbreak of diseases is enough to create mass hysteria and misinformation can lead to terrible consequences. So let's dive into it and understand what this pandemic exactly is. The new or novel coronavirus, now called 2019 NCOV, had not been previously detected before the outbreak was first reported in Wuhan, China in December 2019. It is a cousin of SARS, which caused the death of almost 800 people 17 years ago. The pathogen may have been transmitted to humans from live animals, and scientists are now racing against the clock to see how quickly and where it will spread. Epidemics and pandemics may be diagnosed by researchers working day in and day out in labs. But before it can even become one, computer programmers and data analysts sitting anywhere in the world can see it coming a mile away. The first report of an impending biohazard was Blue Dot, a Canadian firm that specializes in infectious disease investigation. They predicted an imminent epidemic of coronavirus on December 31st, 2019, using an AI-powered system that combed through animal and plant disease networks, information from vernacular websites, government documents, and other online sources. It warned its clients against traveling to danger zones like Wuhan much before foreign governments started issuing travel advisories. They even used global airlining ticket to correctly predict that the virus would spread to Seoul, Bangkok, Taipei, and Tokyo. A doctor could be practicing for several years and yet they would not be able to come to a conclusion as significant as determining whether a trend is emerging. AI health prediction has been around for some time now and is able to do this monumental task. As early as 2008, Google launched a service that tried to spot flu outbreaks using people's search queries. Information ranging from supermarket purchases, browsing patterns, and the theme and rate of private messages is used by such AI. Google's AI identified the 2009 swine flu pandemic nearly two weeks before US health officials, but this was only discovered later. However, it was eventually brought down after being found to consistently overestimate the pervasiveness of disease. At the end of it, AI cannot replace expert epidemiologists, but it can serve as a tool in helping them. Finding clues of the new virus in a vast melange of conjecture, buzz, and posts about common cold and flu symptoms is an arduous task. Still, the approach has proven useful at noticing a coronavirus needle in a haystack of big data. According to Wired magazine, John Brownstein, Chief Innovation Officer at Harvard Medical School, and an expert on mining social media information for health trends, says colleagues tracking Chinese social media and news sources were alerted to reports of a flu-like outbreak on December 30, 2019. These reports were shared with the WHO, but it took time to confirm the seriousness of the situation. Simple data analysis can also be done using crowdsourced data, similar to the one conducted by the researchers at the National Institutes of Health. This analysis revealed a picture of delays in reporting new cases in Wuhan during the early stages of the pandemic and also suggested that children of age 15 and below are more robust and less likely to catch the virus. As per the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, there is no known vaccine or antiviral cure for the 2019 NCOV disease. But many believe that AI could be the solution for finding a cure. A group of researchers from Michigan State University recently published a paper on using machine learning techniques to create new drug candidates for the 2019 NCOV. In Silico Medicine, a startup based in Maryland, USA, reported that it had used AI to rapidly identify molecules that could form the basis of an effective treatment against the coronavirus at the heart of the current situation. In Silico's AI-based system took four days to identify thousands of new molecules that could potentially be turned into medicines against the virus, and says it will publish the full library of new molecular structures it has generated for other researchers to possibly use. <laughs> 